Want a better recall on your dog? This might work for you. This is what I'm trying, and that's to use a whistle because it will affect a different part of your dog's brain than when you're using a word. And it you can make a whistle sound different ways so your dog knows what to do at a far distance. However, teaching it is another story. <laughs> teaching myself to use a whistle. So that's what this is about. So I ordered three different whistles and one is a plastic one. It's an orange plastic one. It's a good one, but it's not that loud. It's loud, but not that loud. Then I ordered a coach's whistle, which is metal and very loud. I don't think I have them right here. No, or I'd show them to you. And then I ordered a herding whistle, which is a whistle that will um, make a bunch of different sounds and it's used for when you're herding sheep and so forth. So you can call your dog from a much farther distance in most cases than you would with just a word. And a word doesn't really affect your dog the same way a whistle does. But doing it with a whistle, um, this whistle, getting this whistle to work is challenging. So you're gonna go through this training with me because I am just learning. So this is the first of that series. So I'll show you this herding whistle and what it looks like and all that stuff. Actually, I'll just show you, it looks like this, okay? So I'm gonna get close up with it. I'm Dr. Carolyn Lincoln with Play to Behave and you can find out more about me at playtobehave.com. Uh, if you like this video and you wanna know more, go ahead and hit like and then subscribe and that way you'll hear about when the next video comes out. So I'll show you my dog too. Mickey, come. <laughs> Let's see if he comes when he's called. Right? Mickey! Good boy. Come here. Come say hello. Good job. Can you see my dog? Okay, good boy. Yes, what a good boy you are. What a good boy. I have a broken hand, so I have to be careful, especially around the dogs, so I don't get more hurt. Okay, so I ordered a Logan whistle. That's a, a really nice um, hurting whistle. Here you go. That's backwards. Uh, sorry about that. Sends it in a really nice little pouch. Hi. And sorry, same thing, it's blurry. Comes in a lot of different colors. It's kind of a weird shape. And on the back, it gives you directions how to use it. This is the actual whistle. I think I can get it so you can see it there. So there's a hole that goes all the way through. And on the sides, there's little openings. There, This is flat and that goes against your tongue. And then there's this hole here so you can hold it on a lanyard um, so you won't lose it. The thing is, it's hard to learn. And after you learn to get some sound out of it, then you're supposed to like hum some tunes so that you get used to it. Then you can start doing whistles like woo woo or woo woo woo, and then it'll get your dog to do certain things. So I would like Mickey to come when called when he hears the whistle, one type of whistle, another type of whistle, I wanna have him lie down at a distance. So for example, if he were ever to get away, that's what frightens me. We have a fenced yard, but what if he got out or something or, or someone let go of a leash um, and he started chasing a car? I might want him to lie down because he's on the side of the road and I don't want him to cross the road to come to me. And in that case, I would use a different whistle than if I want him to come to me. Um, and then there's other things that you can teach your dog, obviously, like when you're herding sheep. He is really, he has really strong herding instincts. So who knows if I will take him herding. I've done it before with another dog for about a year, year and a half, and it is not easy. It looks easier than it actually is. I think it takes a good 10 years to master and we're doing dog agility. So I don't know that we'll get to herding, but that would be fun. He would love it. So anyways, you take this whistle and you're supposed to put it up against your tongue and then blow and the, and the air goes through the hole on the top and the bottom. But that's not really working for me here. I got it to do that. <laughs> it's taken me several days to get it to do that. It sounds like I'm spitting in it, but I'm not. I actually got a, I actually got a little whistle out of it. Did you hear that? Hold on, I'm gonna try again. Mickey didn't come to it. But I was earlier, like when I tried to get a sound out of it, he came close. So I was thinking maybe he hears something. Ah, I got something out of it. So now once I, I'm going to keep experimenting with it and then you're supposed to at some point start humming a tune. And so I'll try that. So if you want to follow along, um, please do can come back and watch more videos. Once I get the whistle the way I want it, then I'm going to call him to come to me, then whistle, 
and then he gets a reward when he comes. So he'll come because I'm calling him where it's easy, like in the house. And then um, I'll add the whistle and eventually I can drop the word and just use the whistle. That's the idea. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Wish me luck. All right, this is Dr. Carolyn Lincoln with Play to Behave. Again, find out more about me at playtobehave.com. You can give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hear more. And if you want to leave a comment below, that would be awesome. And uh, Mickey, thanks you too. I don't know where you went now. <laughs> and happy training.